Hi everybody, Dr. Mike here. Did you know that early mathematical models stated that the force that's placed on the spine during weightlifting actually far exceeds the force that's required to rupture discs or even fracture isolated vertebrae? So the question then is, how do individuals lift such heavy weights without breaking their back? Well, the answer has to do with pressure. More specifically, it has to do with maintaining a high intra-abdominal pressure. This is a high pressure inside of your abdominal cavity. That's where all your digestive organs are. Your question may be, how do you maintain a high pressure in your abdomen? Well, first thing you need to be aware of is something called Boyle's Law. Boyle's Law states that if you have a container, if you decrease the volume of that container, you increase the pressure inside of that container. Vice versa, if you increase the volume of the container, you decrease the pressure inside. Now we know that our abdomen is surrounded by our abdominal muscles. You've got the rectus abdominis, transversus abdominis, external internal obliques, for example. And if you contract them, what you do is you end up crunching, right? You flex at the abdomen and that decreases the volume of your abdominal cavity. Now remember, decrease the volume, increase the pressure inside. Now inside your abdomen, you've got digestive organs. This is solids and liquids. They're basically incompressible. So that means when you increase the pressure inside, things don't shift around very much. It becomes quite a stiff and rigid environment. Remember at the back of your abdomen, you've got your lumbar vertebrae, which means it's like when you, de when you increase the intra-abdominal pressure, it's like blowing up a balloon inside, which means it makes this spine more stiff. It can then withhold more compressive forces. In addition to that, your transversus abdominis, internal and external obliques are attached to your rectus spinal muscles. These are the main muscles that allow our back to extend and take a lot of that force. So that means when you contract those muscles, it also aids the erector spinal muscles to help redistribute the force as well. So not just the intra-abdominal pressure, but also contraction of the abdominal muscles help reduce the force that's being placed on the spine and also increase the stiffness within the spine as well. Now, in addition to that, what you're gonna find is that when you decrease that abdominal cavity, increasing the pressure, it also increases the pressure in the thoracic cavity. And when you increase the pressure in the thoracic cavity, you squeeze the lungs. When you squeeze the lungs, air comes out. Now, if you continue to decrease the volume of the abdominal cavity through comp compression or contraction of the muscles, remember your external obliques aren't just around your abdomen, but they attach to the lower eight ribs. And when you contract the external obliques, they're gonna drop the rib cage inwards, decreasing the thoracic volume as well. Hence why thoracic volume decreases and air wants to rush out. So if you want to maintain a high intra-abdominal pressure, then you need to close that airway, right? Closing that airway means the thoracic volume won't continue to decrease, maintaining the rigid abdominal structure. Now this is probably not as important in back squat, for example, because in back squat, you take that load and as you start to stand up, you start to, some people start to breathe out and as you breathe out, you further contract more and more and more abdominal muscles, increasing that intra-abdominal pressure. Okay, great. But when you're doing a bench press, that force isn't necessarily being placed vertically on your spine, it's actually being placed on your chest and arms and being distributed across your thoracic cavity. So the weight of the bench press is actually decreasing the volume of the thoracic cavity. What does that mean? Increased pressure, air wants to rush out. If it does, then you're not gonna maintain a strong uh, chest wall during the bench press. If you then close the glottis or airways, the force is gonna be redistributed to your abdomen. Now that means you need to now maintain a strong core during bench press because if you relax the abs, the force will then be pushed down to your abdomen as well. So by contracting the abdominal muscles, maintaining an increased intra-abdominal pressure, you maintain an increased intra-thoracic pressure and then you have greater stability across the chest during a bench press. Hope that makes sense.